One of the things which I think which helped me at that time, which I recommend to anybody who's probably going through this journey is, um, I just absolutely mandated that nobody will tell me a bad story. Very early on that if you only, like only tell me about a story if there's a success story, meaning people have survived and I would love to meet survivors. Uh, I was born in eastern part of UP, uh, Uttar Pradesh. Um, grew, was born in a farmer's family. Uh, my dad was kind of wanted to be an entrepreneur and he was doing some things, uh, but we lost him very early in our life. Um, so what my mom, who was 24 at that time, she had two sons, what she decided to do was send us to her uh, brother who was a soldier in the military. So I ended up joining the military as a civil engineering officer um, and my game plan was to go on to become a military general. But as luck would have it, uh, after about four years or so, uh, I got diagnosed with leukemia. Um, I mean, initially it started off, uh, I, I still remember the date, it was 27th of September 2005, uh, where I got admitted for um, backache. That was, that was the beginning of the journey, uh, or the whole thing. Uh, and then my, my situation deteriorated where I got diagnosed with, uh, with pneumonia first, uh, and then TB, and then kind of, so the doctors realized that there is something kind of probably bigger that is happening. Uh, I, I remember, in, uh, I think end of October, my, one doctor, a young major, he walked in, he was a this kind of friend of mine, and he was like, uh, so my mom, mom was kind of asking, okay, you know, doctor, when, when do you think my son is going to walk again? Um, and he's, he was a realist. So he's like, uh, auntie, just, you know, be prepared that he might be on a wheelchair for his, all his life. Um, uh, and my mom was like, you're an idiot uh, and you need to get out. Um, and she was shocked and even I was like, mom, uh, he's my senior, so please don't do this. Uh, but she was like, no, you, you, you know, uh, that's not true. It's um, never say that to my son again. Um, and she's like, you, you're going to walk, you're going to have an absolutely normal life. There were days where I would feel low and um, she would only tell me about, you know, how life would look like uh, after we kind of go over this. Um, so she kept reminding me of the, of the positive stories, which were super helpful. Uh, and then after meeting the survivors, even I started to feel that if they can have it, they can do it, you know, so can I. No matter how medically impossible, medically impossible it feels, uh, but it can happen. Um, 